again, everyone. We have a, we have another interesting topic today, and my and my guest, as I've had before, is Gabriel Rutten, MD, of uh, you know from the Netherlands. Say, say hello, Gabriel. Hello, everybody. Okay. Um, <clears throat> as a reminder for those who don't already know, Gabrielle, she's the uh, director of the Gary Craig Official EFT Training Center in the Dutch language. But as you will see, and you probably know, she speaks very fluent English. Now, our topic today, somebody, somebody has written me an email, and they basically want to know, is there a tapping script for fibroids. Well, she could, the person writing this could also ask a, a similar question. Is there a tapping script for knee pain? Is there a tapping script for cancer? Is there a tapping script for this? You know, any one of multitudes of other ailments. And, um, well, I want to give an overall thing first before we, before we bring her on. Um, I haven't done any tapping since 2014, because we're bringing on the unseen therapist. So, but there are a lot of people who were using my older version of the, you know, EFT tapping on the meridian points, and got the idea that we could have a script. We could just take, well, this is an ailment. And now we'll have a, some exact wording, and you tap on certain points while you say some exact things, and supposedly there's going to be some magic. All right. Well. Sometimes, by the way, there is some magic, although it tends to be temporary. But I think, Gabrielle, the temporary is not what we're aiming for. Would you agree? I would agree entirely. Okay. And it seems to be a big misunderstanding mm -hmm. that we need a tapping script. Yeah. So, but but let's just, let's just take it for what people tend to think uh, the value is here. They will go, let's just take a headache, for example. They'll go tapping-wise, even though I have this headache, da, 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 da. and they'll finish with all of that. And the headache might get better. So, oh, now if we just have the right words and we do some tapping on certain points, headaches get better, and so does everything else that we want to filled in with our magic words. And so that's how this works. Well, mm. that's aiming at the symptom and not the cause. We may well get some results. Sometimes, yeah, you can even aim at symptoms and the headache goes away and stays away. Sometimes. But when it doesn't, which is a lot, it comes back or it's temporary or partial or things like that. We need to get down to what's causing it. We need to get, we need to customize this to do it well. And so the tapping scripts, although enthusiastically put out there, is the shallow end of the EFT pool. So anyway, anyway, uh, uh, you probably have your way of saying that as well, uh, uh, Gabrielle. So please. <clears throat> yes. Um what I would like to point out is that um, tapping on meridian points brings peace to the system because you're stimulating the parasympathetic re uh, relaxation response. That's how it is called. So I'm not surprised that even and you're, you're, you know, you're, you're reciting this tapping script and whilst you're tapping on these points, um, your relaxation response kicks in. So that may well, you know, as you said, relieve the symptom. Same goes for working with unseen uh, therapists. If you do the, your personal peace procedure and you do this wonderful, lovely meditation, it brings peace to the system. So seemingly, you know, you get a result. However, for any kind of um, a problem, be that headache, any physical symptom, but also psychological symptoms, you need, need to find out what triggers you specifically. This is, you need to customize what you're doing. Yeah. And so if you really want to um, help yourself and tackle the problem, you need to find out what is the exact specific situation that triggers me after which I have headache. 
And you have to work on your specific moment, not some tapping script. It's not about the words. It is about finding out, identifying what triggers you. And that's unique for you. And to get this off of headaches for a moment, because I happen to bring that on, but for fibroids or for that matter, any other yes. ailment, we need to know what's really causes that. What resentments do you have? What angers do you have? What guilts are you carrying around? And, and so what emotional disturbances, and we all have them. We collect them over a lifetime. Okay. What's behind all of that that manifests as fibroid? It needs to be customized to you, not some magic, even though I have fibroids or, or some other words somebody might want to put together that may or may not, you know, apply to you and your circumstances. You know, it's got yes. to be customized. If you don't customize it, you're not really getting down to the cause, and that's where you need to be. Yes. Thoughts? No, that's exactly right. And so people need to identify what is giving me stress what kind of situation and then just not in, you know in general you know this type of situation gives me stress you need to you you need to focus on a, the best example for example or you know the moment that it happens the reason for that is because every single time you're in a situation where your stress reaction has been triggered and you have had stress and neg negative emotions all the details of that moment are stored in your long-term memory. So the details of that moment we call aspects. It's where you are, what you see, feel, hear, uh, taste, etc. So your, your senses, the details of the moment, they get stored in your long-term memory. And all these details become little triggers or bigger triggers. And this is the reason why you have to relive the moment and work on the stress that that moment gives because you want these details, you know, taken out, erased from your long-term memory. You need to make sure that there's no link between these triggers and your stress response. That is the reason why we need to be so specific and customize what we're doing. Sure. And, and the other thing is when we are... Using my older version, the, the tapping, I, this is a mechanical process. We tap on this meridian, we tap on this meridian, and we, and we do say some words along the lines and so on. Um, but that's, that's a mechanical system. When we're using the unseen therapist, now we, we're tapping into the ultimate healing source, the spiritual essence that we all have, the ultimate peace. It's the ultimate love of that, that really is the ultimate remedy for everything and we're learning more and more and more how to do it and to customize where is it in your world i'm simplifying some here okay but where is it in your world that you don't have love you have resentment instead where are these specific events in your life that are causing emotional trouble let me just ask you something. I think I've asked you this before and mm -hmm. we've discussed it before, but I want to just display it here for our audience. If someone is carrying around, and we all do this, by the way, <laughs> anger, grief, guilt, resentment, fear, and so on, all these negative emotions. It's well known in medical circles, is it not, that as we do that, get into that negativity, our system creates a literal, like a cascade of negative chemistry. You know, adrenaline goes out of balance. Cortisol goes out of balance. Hundreds of chemical repair mechanisms get compromised and so on. And our immune system, you know, goes to help with that, but it can only do so much. And so the more of that you have unresolved, it's going to manifest itself in something physical, like fibroids or other yes. things. Did I say that right? Yes, 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 you did, because, you know, it's a well-known fact, and, at least, and and there's, you know, quite a handsome body of research on this topic that uh, what they call early childhood trauma absolutely is completely 100% related to 
uh, diseases later on in life, be that diabetes, be that all types of all kinds of cancers, all kinds of hormonal disbalances and all that. However, the interesting part is, uh, at least I find this interesting being, you know, a medical MD, uh, is that they, they, they make the connection, they, they prove there's a connection, and there it stops. Then they're st still just treating symptoms with medication, whereas with EFT, we look back and we identify these childhood traumas and the other traumas, obviously, because there's more stuff to do than only the early childhood stuff, and 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 resolve the charges and resolve the the negative responses with EFT, and that makes it you know a completely different ball game. Yeah, it's interesting that I've asked that question I just asked you about the cascade of negative stuff and chemistry that goes on in the body. I've never, uh, I, I can't tell you how many doctors I've asked that of, not being a doctor myself. They all agree with it, and yet they all continue to treat symptoms and not the cause. And I can only think, maybe you have a different thought here, okay? But I can only think that's because they've never been, they don't They don't have a tool exactly. to to resolve all that emotional stuff they they may say well take it relax take a vacation or quit your yes. job or yes. or go see a psychologist or psychiatrist they don't know how to do it they don't have that in their toolbox because they agree. were never i'm not criticizing them they just weren't taught that no and you see, I agree there, and um, I sympathize with them because that's what I was. That's where I come from, and I got really frustrated, and I really thought, can't be, you know, can't be serious that we're only treating symptoms and not dealing with the causes. And if you don't have a tool like EFT, at, uh, you know, at your disposal, you're pretty much um, powerless to do something about it. And, you know doctors or other therapists or whoever it is telling you to just take it easy and just relax and take a vacation that sort of you know is frustrating because if you you usually know that there's stress and that you're stressed out and that there's problems so if you were able to sort of completely relax about it you would have done it a long time ago so you know being told that you just need to relax or whatever it is that they advise is a bit frustrating because if we could do that, if we could just say to ourselves, all right, now I get it. I'm really stressed out about that situation. I'll just drop the whole situation and not be stressed about it. If we could do that, we would never have a problem. Yeah. But we can't just, you need the tool, you need, you need EFT to make sure that whatever triggered you can't keep on switching on your stress reaction. And so you can't just say to yourself, well, let's just be really relaxed from now on. And, and when you have unseen therapists, you can even do more with it. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Anything else? Anything more you want to add, Gabrielle, before we draw the curtain here? No, no. I think this is good. All right. Well, I hope that was helpful, everyone. We'll, uh, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.